In Beijing, everything is ready for the start of the 20th Congress of the Communist Party of China, a key meeting that should yield a roadmap with plans for China for the next five years and strategies for dealing with the changing international landscape. The Congress of the Communist Party of China is vital to promote the desired goal of national revitalization and turn the Asian giant into a superpower, said Song Cheli, spokesman of the event. During the first press conference of this 20th century of the Communist Party of China, the official assured the important documents and amendments will be discussed to update the party's vision to and promote the construction of socialism with Chinese characteristics. The Congress will be a meeting of great importance that comes at a crucial time when the Communist Party and the Chinese people of all ethnicities are embarking on a new journey to make China a modern socialist country in every aspect and complete the goal of the second centenary to make China a superpower. The Congress should push forward this task. According to Chinese authorities and experts, at this Congress, the Chinese Communists must take firmer steps to strengthen the Chinese Communist Party, set China's socioeconomic course, and set the tone for its foreign policy in the midst of a growing confrontation with the United States. The nearly 2,300 delegates present will also review the achievements of the past five years and set the ideological and political orientations of the party for the next five years. The 20th Communist Party Congress begins on October 16th and concludes on October 22nd. Over 2,500 Chinese and foreign journalists cover this event under strict COVID-19 protocol, which includes quarantines and regular PCR testing. This Congress, the Chinese Communist Party, generates many expectations at national and international level since it is expected that the main guidelines for the future of China in the short and long term will come out of it, as well as the strategies that the rulers of the Asian giants will follow to manage the changing international context. We have come to